How's it going guys? It is 2.25 a.m. 17th of March here in Japan. We have a pass level question for general path for step one. Intro medicine to CK. Cut to the chase and not waste our time. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, mehl man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me telegram. Links to telegram. Group your channel down below. Now start the clip. 49 year old man. Shortness of breath and exertion. Past six months. Physical exam shows a lateralized apex beat. And S3 heart sound. Darkening of the skin of the forearms. Serum glucose 130 milligrams per deciliter fasting, BMI 20, serum potassium 4.8, which of the following is the most likely explanation for these findings? Let's just hop to the answer choices here. Choice A, adrenal cortical insufficiency, wrong fucking answer, would refer to Addison disease most of the time, autoimmune. We would see an elevated potassium. So normal range 3.5 to 5, clearly it's not elevated here. So obviously, as I just fucking said, you could do a 40 minute chat on adrenal stuff, but you should know your basic arrows, which for low aldosterone, you're going to have high potassium, low sodium, decreased bicarbonate, decreased pH, normal anion gap metabolic acidosis. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, diminished biliary excretion of cation, nebulous answer choice. Wrong fucking answer. This refers to Wilson disease. We normally excrete copper in bile. Okay, so autosomal recessive, Kaiser Fleischer rings, copper overload. You're going to have increased urinary copper. You're going to have increased, uh, sorry, decreased ceruloplasmin in the blood. You're going to have hepatic insufficiency, sometimes with cirrhosis. You're going to have hemolytic anemia. You're going to have Parkinsonism in a young patient. Okay, so older patient with Parkinson's disease, obviously, could be Parkinson's disease, could be normal pressure hydrocephalus. It could be progressive super, super nuclear palsy, could be Lewy body dementia. Younger patient, you want to think of Wilson disease. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, increase intestinal cation absorption, correct answer. First to hereditary hemochromatosis, autosomal recessive HFE gene. You need to know that this is the mechanism for hereditary hemochromatosis, all right? So we're going to have too much iron absorption in the small bowel. The mechanism for decreasing the absorption of iron is simply impaired. This strikes students as a surprise. It's what they want you to know. This is verbatim an answer on the USMLE. They'll just say increase intestinal iron absorption. They make it a little bit easier. I decided to be a flagrant asshole here. So hemochromatosis, hemosiderin deposition, darkening the skin of the forearms. You can get iron deposition in the tail of the pancreas, which can give you diabetes. This is called bronze diabetes, colloquially. Okay, so the combination when you have hyperpigmentation from the hemosiderin, increased glucose, and then you can get other findings such as dilated cardiomyopathy, which we have here. It could instead be a restrictive cardiomyopathy if we had let's say a smaller heart rather than a lateralized apex B, if we had a smaller heart, JVD, peripheral edema, that reflects restrictive cardiomyopathy, you can get infertility, iron deposition in the gonads or in the hypothalamus, anterior pituitary, you can get arthritis, okay? So this is important for US simile, and you're going to do serial phlebotomy as the treatment. Don't choose chelators, okay? Deferoxamine, as an example, would be for secondary hemochromatosis, which is caused by transfusional siderosis, which is chronic blood transfusions, e.g. beta thalassemia. So real quick, just chop through the final answer choices. Choice D, insensitivity, insertion, glute 4, wrong fucking answer. So obviously type 2 diabetes, you say, well, you know, there is diabetes here, isn't there? Well, as we said, it's from iron deposition in the tail of pancreas. There is an insulin resistance. Okay, so... That's a little bit tricky, not crazy, but no, this isn't insulin resistance, not type 2 diabetes here. This is just diabetes secondary to iron deposition of the tail of the pancreas. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, uro porphyrinogen decarboxylase deficiency. Wrong answer. This refers to porphyrocutanea tarda, which is just one of the heme synthesis disorders, very high yield, okay? So when we talk about acute intermittent porphyria, porphyrocutanea tarda, very uh, difficult sounding diagnoses. They're all over the NBME exams for heme stuff. I've made tons of clips here on the YouTube. This is just the heme synthesis disorder where we get photosensitivity. That's it, okay? So photosensitivity, whereas acute intermittent porphyria, that's going to be porpho by linogen, deaminase deficiency, that's going to be red urine, abdominal pain, okay? You can get neuropathy in uh, acute amenoporphyria as well. A lot we can talk about. 
Coinus, wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.